Hi everyone. So I'm in the woods. This is one of my most favorite places to come. There's a plane flying over overhead. <laughs> I always look up when I hear see those planes and hear those planes and I'm always wondering where that group of people or persons are going. <laughs> do you guys ever do that? I'm always like, wonder where they're going. Are they going to Florida where it's warm? <laughs> or, you know, are they going to the Bahamas? You know, are they going to see loved ones? But anyways, I'm out here in the woods and this is one of the places that I always, always come to because being from where I'm from in West from West Virginia and the way I was raised I was raised pretty much in the mountains in the woods <laughs> and as from uh, being a small child I always found peace in coming out in the woods I love watching the squirrels I love uh, listening to the little birds sing it just gives me peace and comfort and I love listening to the animals out in the distance. It's just so, so peaceful. So the main reason I'm out here is because um, this is a little difficult to talk about, but um, I felt the need to and I'll tell you just why in a minute. So I come out into the woods because even though it's cold, it's actually pretty nice here today. It's in the 50s. <laughs> and um, that's the reason I'm even out here walking around. So I thought I'd take a minute and sit and record this. But I like to come out here because this is one of my places that I go to to where I feel that if I want to scream, I can scream. If I want to cry, I can just cry and cry and let it out. And I do that so, so often. And that's why I don't want to ever move from where I'm at. Because I love, I love where I'm at. I love the peace and the quiet here. Because I need that in my life. But I had a person send me... A couple of messages over the last month or so and um, that person was expressing to me how they had lost a child and I instantly felt that person's pain as soon as they told me that I, I felt it I got it I understand but then at the same time they said um, you're so happy. I want to know how you got over it so quickly. Um, that made me start thinking. Uh, <laughs> it just made me start thinking, oh my goodness, do people really, really think that I'm over the loss of my child? I don't know if that's something you can ever, ever get over. How I grieve and how I have done things differently, maybe from someone else's grieving. We all grieve differently. I understand that. Uh, but at the same time, please know I am, am not over the death of my child. That was my firstborn. We pretty much grew up together. Um, through life, as when she was a child, it was very, very hard for me. Um, I divorced from her dad and uh, I tried to be, I was a single mother, and I tried to be the best I could be. Um, I made many, many mistakes growing up as a child, raising a child. But know that I am 
so, so not over, nor will I ever be over the loss of my child. What you see of me on YouTube, I'm usually really, really happy, and I am. I That's what you see is what you get. I really, really am happy. I love wigs. I love wigs. It is something that I believe in my heart God placed in my life because it gives me a lot of joy. It makes me feel happy. It makes me feel pretty. It makes me feel confident. So, of course, I'm going to be happy when I'm wearing hair that makes me feel that way. But that is like 10 minutes of my life that you are seeing on camera. I mourn daily. I cry daily. Sometimes it's even happy tears. I'll remember something and it makes me laugh or makes me giggle. And sometimes it really hits right here and it hurts. It really hurts because I know that I can't ever see her here on this earth. But I will see her again in heaven because I'm a believer of Jesus Christ. And that's what I believe. I believe that God is holding my baby up there and she's waiting for me. And I will see her again. And I believe it's my faith that keeps me going on a daily basis. Now, with that being said, I wanted to address a couple of other things. It has always been my desire to help those in need. And no matter what you face, you can still be proud of who you are. I just think we all need encouragement. And at times, we all need that a boy or that a girl and pat a pat on the back. We all work hard. I know. But there is so, so much competition and drama out there. I won't be a part of it. I will not be a part of that. I uh, distant myself from drama, and I always have. Anytime drama has hit, occasionally I may say something, <laughs> and, but not often, because I don't want to be a part of it. Um, drama is not good for me, not good for me at all, and I don't want to ever be a part of it. But... There is lots of lots of people out there telling lies, telling this, saying that. And I have accepted that. I think that the thing that has hurt me the most is the people that were told those things believed it. That's where, that's what hurt. That's what hurt. When when someone was told something about someone else without knowing any facts about the other person's side of the story and believed it. That's painful. That hurts. That's the part that hurt me the most is because, wow, you took the time to hear this person, but you didn't even take the time to even ask the other person. And this may not be relevant to me. But I've just seen and watched and sat back. But then I thought, you know, I have a voice. I need to express these things as well. <laughs> Little birds over there. Um, but I have a voice. I need to express these things as well, especially being on social media. I put myself out there. I get it. I'm going, I get it. <laughs> I'm going, you know. People, some people's going to love me, some people's going to like me, and some people's going to be, ah, some people's going to be like, ugh, you know. And I, I get it. <laughs> I totally get it. But I am putting myself out there, but I, in hopes, in hopes I'm helping someone or at least encouraging someone. Something I wish I had when I first started wearing wigs, I so needed that encouragement and support. I did. I did. Another quick thing I want to address while I'm thinking about it is someone asked me 
why don't you come over and join such and such group? We have so much fun over there. We do this, we do that. I did that. I did that. I, I did that for a while. I was on different wig groups and I was on different this and that. I had to separate myself from that because I was finding more drama and more things that I wasn't ready to be a part of in my life. I couldn't. I tried, and it was fun. It was fun for the beginning. And I'm not saying every wig group out there is like that. I don't know. I have not been a part of every wig group. But I'm just saying that the few that I had been a part of was not for me personally. And I do recommend some wig groups. I really do. For those that are, have complete hair loss or they're losing their hair or they're just trying to find out what wigs are all about. There are so many groups out there, I'm sure. But for me personally, I so, so appreciate you guys' invites. I really, really do. And I, I, I just honestly can't be a part of it right now because I see... And I'm being honest. I'm just being honest. I see other women attacking other women for the way that they look or they may, they, the way they smile, the way they walk, the way they talk, the, their accents. I get it all the time. I get it all the time, my accent, you know. But it, it's who I am. But I can't be a part of that. I do not want to ever be a part of someone belittling or hurting another person. Can't do it. Won't do it. So I choose for now in my life to um, just stay clear of that. And I just want to show you guys beautiful hair as I get it or as I buy it. That's all I want to do. That's all I want to do. Let's be kind to one another. Let's love one another. Let's uplift one another. And let's support one another. This is not a competition, in my eyes anyways. It never has been, nor will it ever be. Can we just get along and love one another? And that goes for all the people that make the wigs as well. Talk to the other person before you make a judgment. And if you don't, that's on you. So guys, I'm going to go finish walking, do my little walk, and I always come out and I pray. And if I feel like crying, I bought plenty of tissue. And sometimes I even ask God, <laughs> I even ask God, to please give my daughter a big hug and kiss for me and tell her mommy loves her. And I also tell him, while you're at it, give my mom a hug. I hope you all got something from this. And I know I am not the best speaker. <laughs> I'm not the best speaker. And I sometimes I don't even know how to... Um, put it out there. It just comes out as it is. <laughs> and that's, that's just how it is. But we have one another. We have one another. Let's take advantage of it. Yeah. Someone just shot a gun. So where I'm at, that happens a lot. But let's take advantage of it and um, love each other and support each other. <sighs> Give each other a pat on the back every once in a while. I know I need it. I need a pat on the back. You know, because work is work. <laughs> it's hard. Sometimes you just need that little pat on the back and encouragement. So, if I haven't said it enough or did it enough to each and every one of you. I apologize first of all, but also want to let you know I am so proud of you, especially those of you that communicate to me personally that I know you. 
at least not face to face, but I know you by emails or private messages or whatever that we've talked to throughout the years or over the months or weeks or days. Let's just keep on encouraging one another. I'm here for you if you need me. So, alrighty guys, I hope this wasn't a Debbie Downer kind of video because that's not what I wanted to, to be by any means. I just thought I needed to address that. And like I said, it may or may not have made sense to you. <laughs> I don't even know if it made sense to me to be honest, but I, I think I just needed to clear that because I am the type that is always quiet and in the background, but I'm always watching. I'm always watching. And then I really felt that God spoke to my heart and was like, you see all this, it's time to speak up. It's time to speak up. You can't sit and play blind when you see. And I see, and I see, and I see, and I also hear. So, sending you all lots of love and hugs. Guys, stay well. Thank you all for sitting and listening to me. I'm going to get up and move. It's starting to get cold. The sun's going down. Alrighty. Stay happy. Stay happy. Be happy. Go give someone a hug today. Go tell someone they're pretty. Go tell someone their hair looks nice. <laughs> give them a pat on the back and say, I'm proud of you. I'm proud of you. If you're listening to this, I'm so proud of you. And if you are a wig reviewer, proud of you. Proud of you. Sending you all lots of hugs. Mm.